good evening ananya ashveer amanpreet is my voice is audible and screen is visible kindly confirm yes sir your voice is audible thank you so much thank you screen is also visible yes thank you uh, amanpreet your mic is not uh, visible kindly click on the mic on the bottom left side of your phone there will be a mic sign so you can click on that amanpreet your mic will be audible then uh, guys we going to start the session very soon just stay connected let sadar to join the session as well thank you so much good evening everyone we going to start the session very soon just stay connected let's other to join the session as well is my voice is audible amanpreet preeti yes it is audible screen is visible yes sir thank you thank you
good evening everyone now we're going to start the session a uh, very good evening sunita very good evening all of you uh just for the last confirmation is my voice is audible and screen is visible then we will we will start the session yes yes visible yes thank you thank you so much all right again welcome to vineyard english first 5 to 10 minutes we will i will share the listening tips and training what kind of uh, questions would be there in the real ielts listening test then after we will start with real listening we will practice real listening before that i would like all of you to have pen and paper handy so that um, you will be able to write down the answers over there so guys uh, write it down 1 to 40 numbers on your notepad that is important because we need to write down the answers so after the tips and training published by cambridge universities published by test. cambridge university press is that fine all of you yes sir great i want you to interact as much as you can so always reply me it would be more uh, efficacious and effective you will enjoy the class even try to interact instead of writing down in the chat box unmute yourself i will not mind if you ask me any question at any point of time during the class so there are basically six common type of listening questions you will encounter in the real ielts exam first one is labeling questions where you need to label the questions label the paragraph summary completion would be there you will be given a summary there will be some blanks you need to listen the information and fill the summary sentence completion will be there there would be half sentences would be there and you need to complete the sentences after listening the questions matching question will be there you need to match the information which information is matching to which paragraph multiple choice question will be there where you need to select one or more than once answers over there there will be like a b c d four type of answers will be there short question answers will be there uh, open ended questions will be there where you need to answer those your listening task would consist of four recordings it would take approximately 30 minutes you will have 10 minutes at the end of the listening recording to transfer your answers so make sure when you get the listening test in the real ielts exam you don't need to write down the answer on the answer sheet quickly write down the answers on the question sheet where the things or where the answers would be asked just write it down over there or anywhere on the question sheet not on the answer sheet if you try to attempt uh, write it down on the answer sheet your diversion your mind will be diverted and uh, of course you will derogate it from the real topic so there will be four recordings 1 to 10 there will be a conversation recording 2 question 11 to 12 20 will be from the real life topic and monologue conversation will be there in the first talk conversation between two people in the recording second you would find monologue that means one person will speak over there in the third part again conversation two to three people will be there in the fourth part monologue will be there and this order can be changed as well we cannot say i mean this is going to remain the same it can be changed as well so we will practice all type of questions and all types of uh, accent during our classes so after the recording after the listening session you will get 10 minutes to transfer your answer on the answer sheet i would recommend to write it down the answers in capitals and also make sure there will not be any mistake in the writing as well these are the listening band structures of ielts academics ielts journal from 0 to 9 0 to 9 in academic if you score 33 to 
or like let's say 35 you attempt out of 40 you will get eight bands in listening and reading it's not hard to get nine bands guys you can attempt nine out of nine one of our students recently got nine in listening 8.5 in reading seven in speaking and seven in writing his name is shobit singh you can read his review on our uh, google my business account he posted his review a wonderful review on our uh, google my business account you can just google our brand vineyard english fill in vineyard english in the google you will even see shobit's review as well i can show his result as well similarly if you get 35 in general you will have seven bands so general is less scoring academic is more scoring so if you attempt 35 you'll get eight bands similarly if you get 35 in general you will have seven bands in listening normally those who pursue journal aisles their target is to get eight bands so eight triple seven is the normal criteria and we have expertise in this area so your score range would be 37 to 38 near to perfection i mean it's it's not uh, impossible it's very much possible if you do regular practice for student visa if you get seven bands it's more than enough but again we recommend to get higher bands in listening writing and other modules as well these six common type of listening questions will be there in your real exam you will see these kind of filling the blanks where you need to get the information from the speaker and fill here you can make a roughly or guess guess idea you can make a make an idea what the information would be there there will be um you can see the venue venue means there will be a name of the place as it says cinema 2 there could be cinema 6 so you can predict the answer as well similarly you you would see some note kind of uh, question over there where you need to fill a note where the information will be given by one person to another facilities available golf and other facilities would be there um then there will be you know other information you need to fill down then there would be map questions map questions are usually attempt through the directions north south east west so mark these direction on your pa uh, question paper when you get the map kind of question so speaker will give you the information on the uh, if you enter from the southern entrance entrance that means entrance from the south side if you enter there will be a parking uh, at uh, front of the entrance so it's g you can mark it as parking and you go along the road on the eastern side there is a picnic area there is a gift shop on the opposite of gift shop there are uh, there is a museum so you can mark f as a museum such kind of questions will be there similarly you need to label the answers what to call this part what to call this part so you need to label over there these kind of questions will be there in the listening as well again the maps will be there as well some kind of uh, matching headings will be there you will listen the answer from the list speaker and you need to match the headings multiple choice questions will be there single answer would be there flow chart will be there where the information will be in the chronological order you need to fill the information whatever you will hear so usually this kind of information will be in the sequence wise guys is everything understandable balveer just me yes, rocky okay great yes, Okay, if, if you find any difficulty during the presentation, you can also let me know. Okay. Thank you very much. I uh, may know the name of the person who just entered from, okay, you, uh, no, okay, you just changed the name. Thank you so much. So tips for listening, listen, listen to English every day. Guys, listen English every day, whether it's podcast, YouTube listening, or uh, English channels, English movies, English songs, try to build a habit of listening English. 
it will enhance your listening pattern it will enhance your imagination pattern it will enhance your understanding in english as well so this is very important second listen to a range of things range of things means different accent join different podcasts which are available online listen ted talks ted talks having different speakers those speaker having different nationalities some are from in india some are from us canada australia china so you will be able to listen quality stuff over there so you you will get or imbibe the habit of listening different accents different types like monologue conversation you can join some youtube ideas uh, channels broadcast etc analyze the question analyze the question means once you will get the question convert the question into your mother tongue if you speak punjabi convert it into into punjabi in your mind only if you speak uh, hindi convert it in into hindi or other languages as well so basic purpose of conversion the question converting the question into your own language that you will come to know the demand of the question what the question is basically asking and this thing is not going to lead for i mean for a minute or so it will be a quick you just need to read the question and quickly convert it into your mind what the question is exactly asking read the instructions this is very very important sometime it has been often seen that student ignore the instructions then they fail to get the desired pants the instruction over there no more than three words or a number then they write down four or five words so guys this is very important you can write down one two up to three words plus a number or and or or a number means you can add three words plus number you can add single number you can add two words plus number one word plus number or three word plus number that's it but you cannot write down four words if you write down more than three words your answer will be marked incorrect even if the information you give is correct other question might tell you no more than two words or only one word so be careful don't lose mark over silly mistakes like this practice paraphrasing paraphrasing means to convert the question into other words here are a couple of examples so in question it says the park was dash 1979 first building so sometime what happens you will get number of questions in a box and the information provided by the speaker is different that is paraphrased information so in in the question you will get a a complete set of box in which number of question will be there number of answers will be there like 9 to 10 and there will be five questions only so you need to select the appropriate answer so speaker would say the park itself wasn't developed until 1979 in audio but the answer would be there first built in, first built in 1979 the park was first built in 1979 so if you see the sense sense remain the same but the audio will say something else which will have the same information in the answer so you need to locate the answers so it will uh, once you will practice these things you will come to know exactly what it what it says so audio mein hame kuch audio mein paraphrased information batayi hogi उसका डिफरेंट मीनिंग सेम थिंग आपको वहां पे बॉक्स में डिस्क्राइब होगा आपने सिलेक्ट करना है यू नीड टू पिक द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज पैराफ्रेसिंग सो गाइस नाउ वी विल गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द रियल लिसनिंग क्लास टुडे एज इट्स लिसनिंग क्लास टुडे सो आई वुड आस्क ऑल ऑफ यू टू हैव पेन एंड पेपर हैंडी वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द लिसनिंग जस्ट इन अ minute i give you 2 minutes to gather pen and paper write it down number from 1 till 40 and let me know once you have it we will start listening and make sure nobody will speak during listening i will not answer any question during listening and uh, we cannot re rewind the listening i mean during listening you have to complete it from first question till 40 question guys this is very important with this 
practice, I will get to know your current level, where you stand right now. So I will give you a feedback, a valued feedback, whether you're going to join our classes or not, still you will get insights. So uh, thank you, Anu. Anu ma'am just uh, said in the chat box, she has done with the uh, pen and paper and she wrote down uh, one to 14. Everything, everyone got the pen and paper? Amanpreet? Yes, just, just me, okay. Balveer, yes, Rakhi, Ravneet, Simran, yes, Sunit. Okay. So shall we start the listening now? Yes, sir. All of you, Balveer, I need to conf yes, I need a confirmation from all of you guys. Rakhi Mehta. Guys, unmute to yourself, all of you. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Simran and Sunita. You gathered pen and paper? All right. We're going to start the listening now. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, sir. Yes, please. Balveer? Yes, yes, yes. I am audible. Yes, sir. Did you get the pen and paper? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay, great. Simran, you have pen and paper? Simran, you have pen Sunita, ma'am? Ravneet? Yes, sir. Ready, sir. Okay, great. I will give you just 10 seconds. If you have not please gather it. Guys, don't be shy. You can talk in the class freely. Those who don't speak up, kindly speak up. It would be better. So now put yourself on the mute face, all of you. If you don't have any question, we're going to start the speaking. Be concentrate to the questions, to the listening have a wear headphone if you don't have that's fine stay in the quiet room we're going to start the listening now and after finishing listening i will ask you how many question did you get right right then we will calculate the band score and then we will i will give you the feedback and then we will start the speaking session so listening is going to start now IELTS 15 Published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge Assessment English 2020 This recording is copyright. Test 4 This is the IELTS Guys, is voice is audible to all of you? Sabko waaz aari hai listening ki? Just last confirm confirmation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Thank you. listening test you will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear there will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work all the recordings will be played once only the test is in four parts at the end of the test you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answer. Simran says screen is not visible properly. Guys, is, it, is this problem with anyone? Screen is not visible or it's visible? Uh, sir, it's visible. It's fine? Yes. Sir. Okay. Simran, just log in and uh, log off and log in, okay? So, answers to the answer sheet. Now turn to part one. Part one. You will hear a representative from a train company talking to a woman about her train journey. First, you have some time to look at questions one to six.
Now listen carefully and answer questions one to six. Hello. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about your journey today? We're doing a customer satisfaction survey. Yes, OK. I've got about ten minutes before my train home leaves. I'm on a day trip. Great. Thank you. So, first of all, could you tell me your name? It's Sophie Bird. Thank you. And would you mind telling me what you do? I'm a journalist. Oh, really? That must be interesting. Yes, it is. So, was the reason for your visit here today work? Actually, it's my day off. I came here to do some shopping. Oh, right. But I do sometimes come here for work. OK. Now, I'd like to ask some questions about your journey today, if that's OK. Yes, no problem. Right. So, can you tell me which station you're travelling back to? Stormforth, where I live. Ah, can I just check the spelling? S-T-A-U-N-F-I-R-T-H? That's right. Mm -hmm. And you travelled from there this morning? Yes. OK, good. Next, can I ask what kind of ticket you bought? I assume it wasn't a season ticket, as you don't travel every day. That's right. No, I just got a normal return ticket. I don't have a rail card, so I didn't get any discount. I keep meaning to get one because it's a lot cheaper. Yes, you'd have saved 20% on your ticket today. Oh. So you paid the full price for your ticket? I paid £23.70. OK. Do you think that's good value for money? Not really. I think it's too much for a journey that only takes 45 minutes. Yes, that's one of the main complaints we get. So you didn't buy your ticket in advance? No. I know it's cheaper if you buy a week in advance, but I didn't know I was coming then. I know. You can't always plan ahead. So, uh, did you buy it this morning? No, it was yesterday. Right. And do you usually buy your tickets at the station? Well, I do usually, but the ticket office closes early and I hate using ticket machines. I think ticket offices should be open for longer hours. There's always a queue for the machines and they're often out of order. Mm, a lot of customers are saying the same thing. So, to answer your question, I got an e-ticket online. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 7 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 7 to 10. OK, thank you. Now, I'd like to ask you about your satisfaction with your journey. So what would you say you were most satisfied with today? Well, I like the Wi-Fi on the train. It's improved a lot. It makes it easier for me to work if I want to. That's the first time today anyone's mentioned that. Oh. It's good to get some positive feedback on that. Mm. And um, is there anything you weren't satisfied with? Well, normally the trains run on time and are uh, pretty reliable, but today there was a delay. The train was about 15 minutes behind schedule. Mm, OK, I'll put that down. Now, I'd also like to ask about the facilities at the station. You've probably noticed that the whole station's been upgraded. What are you most satisfied with? Uh, I think the best thing is that they've improved the amount of information about train times, etc., that's given to passengers. It's much clearer. Before, there was only one board, and I couldn't always see it properly, which was frustrating. That's good. And is there anything you're not satisfied with? Let's see... I think things have generally improved a lot. The trains are much more modern, and I like the new cafe. But one thing is that there aren't enough places to sit down, especially on the platforms. OK. So I'll put seating down, shall I, as the thing you're least satisfied with? Yes, OK. Can I ask your opinion about some of the other facilities? Mm -hmm. We'd like feedback on whether people are satisfied, dissatisfied, or neither satisfied nor dissatisfied. OK. What about 
the parking at the station? Well, to be honest, I don't really have an opinion, as I never use it. So neither satisfied nor dissatisfied for that, then? Yes, I suppose so. OK, uh, and what about the... That is the end of part one. You now have one minute to check your answers to part one. Part 2. You will hear the chair of a committee on park facilities addressing her local town council about changes that have been made to the park. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 16. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. As chair of the Town Council Subcommittee on Park Facilities, I'd like to bring you up to date on some of the changes that have been made recently to the Croft Valley Park. So if you could just take a look at the map I handed out, let's begin with a general overview. So. The basic arrangement of the park hasn't changed. It still has two gates, north and south, and a lake in the middle. The cafe continues to serve an assortment of drinks and snacks, and is still in the same place, looking out over the lake and next to the old museum. We're hoping to change the location of the toilets and bring them nearer to the centre of the park, as they're a bit out of the way at present, near the Adventure Playground, in the corner of your map. The formal gardens have been replanted and should be at their best in a month or two. They used to be behind the old museum, but we've now used the space near the south gate, between the park boundary and the path that goes past the lake towards the old museum. We have a new outdoor gym for adults and children, which is already proving very popular. It's by the glass houses, just to the right of the path from the south gate. You have to look for it, as it's a bit hidden in the trees. One very successful introduction has been our skateboard ramp. It's in constant use during the evenings and holidays. It's near the old museum, at the end of a little path that leads off from the main path between the lake and the museum. We've also introduced a new area for wildflowers to attract bees and butterflies. It's on a bend in the path that goes round the east side of the lake just south of the Adventure Playground. Before you hear the rest of the presentation, you have some time to look at questions 17 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 17 to 20. Now, let me tell you a bit more about some of the changes to Croft Valley Park. One of our most exciting developments has been the Adventure Playground. We were aware that we had nowhere for children to let off steam and decided to use our available funds 
to set up a completely new facility in a large space to the north of the park. It's open year-round, though it closes early in the winter months, and entrance is completely free. Children can choose whatever activities they want to do, irrespective of their age. But we do ask adults not to leave them on their own there. There are plenty of seats where parents can relax and keep an eye on their children at the same time. Lastly, the glass houses. A huge amount of work has been done on them to repair the damage following the disastrous fire that recently destroyed their western side. Over £80,000 was spent on replacing the glass walls and the metal supports, as well as the plants that had been destroyed, although, unfortunately, the collection of tropical palm trees has proved too expensive to replace up to now. At present, the glass houses are open from 10am to 3pm Mondays to Thursdays, and it's hoped to extend this to the weekend soon. We're grateful to all those who helped us by contributing their time and money to this achievement. The gardens have really been a That is the end of part two. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part two. Part 3. You will hear two students of social history, called Annie and Jack, discussing their presentation about refrigeration. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 24. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. OK, Jack. Before we plan our presentation about refrigeration, let's discuss what we've discovered so far. Fine, Annie. Though I have to admit I haven't done much research yet. Nor me. But I found an interesting article about ice houses. I'd seen some 18th and 19th century ones here in the UK, so I knew they were often built in a shady area or underground, close to lakes that might freeze in the winter. Then blocks of ice could be cut and stored in the ice house. But I didn't realise that insulating the blocks with straw or sawdust meant they didn't melt for months. The ancient Romans had refrigeration too. I didn't know that. Yes. Pits were dug in the ground and snow was imported from the mountains even though they were at quite a distance. The snow was stored in the pits. Ice formed at the bottom of it. Both the ice and the snow were then sold. The ice cost more than the snow, and my guess is that only the wealthy members of society could afford it. I wouldn't be surprised. I also came across an article about modern domestic fridges. Several different technologies are used, but they were too complex for me to understand. You have to wonder what happens when people get rid of old ones. You mean because the gases in them are harmful for the environment? Exactly. At least there are now plenty of organisations that will recycle most of the components safely. But of course, some people just dump old fridges in the countryside. It's hard to see how they can be stopped, unfortunately. In the UK, we get rid of three million a year altogether. That sounds a lot. Especially because fridges hardly ever break down. That's right. In this country, we keep domestic fridges for 11 years on average, and a lot last for 20 or more. 
So if you divide the cost by the number of years you can use a fridge, they're not expensive, compared with some household appliances. True. I suppose manufacturers encourage people to spend more by making them different colours and designs. I'm sure when my parents bought their first fridge, they had hardly any choice. Yes, there's been quite a change. Before you hear the rest of the discussion, you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 25 to 30. Right, let's make a list of topics to cover in our presentation and decide who's going to do more research on them. Then later we can get together and plan the next step. OK. How about starting with how useful refrigeration is and the range of goods that are refrigerated nowadays? Because, of course, it's not just food and drinks. No, I suppose flowers and medicines are refrigerated too. And computers. I could do that, unless you particularly want to. No, that's fine by me. What about the effects of refrigeration on people's health? After all, some of the chemicals used in the 19th century were pretty harmful, but there have been lots of benefits too, like always having access to fresh food. Do you fancy dealing with that? I'm not terribly keen, to be honest. Mm, nor me. My mind just goes blank when I read anything about chemicals. Oh, all right then. I'll do you a favour. But you owe me, Jack. OK. What about the effects on food producers? Like farmers in poorer countries being able to export their produce to developed countries. Something for you, maybe? I don't mind. It should be quite interesting. I think we should also look at how refrigeration has helped whole cities. Like Las Vegas, which couldn't exist without refrigeration because it's in the middle of a desert. Right. I had a quick look at an economics book in the library that's got a chapter about this sort of thing. I could give you the title if you want to do this section. Not particularly, to be honest. I find economics books pretty heavy going as a rule. OK, leave it to me then. Thanks. Then there's transport and the difference that refrigerated trucks have made. I wouldn't mind having a go at that. Don't forget trains too. I read something about milk and butter being transported in refrigerated railroad cars in the USA right back in the 1840s. I hadn't thought of trains. Thanks. Shall we have a separate section on domestic fridges? After all, they're something everyone's familiar with. What about splitting it into two? You could investigate 19th and 20th century fridges, and I'll concentrate on what's available these days and how manufacturers differentiate their products from those of their competitors. OK, that'd suit me. That is the end of part three. You now have 30 seconds to check your answers to part three. Part 4. You will hear a history student giving part of a presentation about changes in British society in the 19th century. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40.
Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Hi everyone. In this session, I'll be presenting my research about the social history of Britain during the Industrial Revolution. I particularly looked at how ordinary lives were affected by changes that happened at that time. This was a time that saw the beginning of a new phenomenon, consumerism, where buying and selling goods became a major part of ordinary people's lives. In fact, it was in the 19th century that the quantity and quality of people's possessions was used as an indication of the wealth of the country. Before this, the vast majority of people had very few possessions, but all that was changed by the Industrial Revolution. This was the era from the mid-18th to the late 19th century, when improvements in how goods were made, as well as in technology, triggered massive social changes that transformed life for just about everybody in several key areas. First, let's look at manufacturing. When it comes to manufacturing, we tend to think of the Industrial Revolution in images of steam engines and coal. And it's true that the Industrial Revolution couldn't have taken place at all if it weren't for these new sources of power. They marked an important shift away from the traditional water mills and windmills that had dominated before this. The most advanced industry for much of the 19th century was textiles. This meant that fashionable fabrics and lace and ribbons were made available to everyone. Before the Industrial Revolution, most people made goods to sell in small workshops, often in their own homes. But enormous new machines were now being created that could produce the goods faster and on a larger scale, and these required a lot more space. So large factories were built, replacing the workshops and forcing workers to travel to work. In fact, large numbers of people migrated from villages into towns as a result. As well as manufacturing, there were new technologies in transport, contributing to the growth of consumerism. The horse-drawn stagecoaches and carts of the 18th century, which carried very few people and goods and travelled slowly along poorly surfaced roads, were gradually replaced by the numerous canals that were constructed. These were particularly important for the transportation of goods. The canals gradually fell out of use, though, as railways were developed, becoming the main way of moving goods and people from one end of the country to the other. And the goods they moved weren't just coal, iron, clothes and so on. Significantly, they included newspapers, which meant that thousands of people were not only more knowledgeable about what was going on in the country, but could also read about what was available in the shops. And that encouraged them to buy more. So faster forms of transport resulted in distribution becoming far more efficient. Goods could now be sold all over the country instead of just in the local market. The third main area that saw changes that contributed to consumerism was retailing. The number and quality of shops grew rapidly, and in particular, small shops suffered as customers flocked to the growing number of department stores, a form of retailing that was new in the 19th century. The entrepreneurs who opened these found new ways to stock them with goods and to attract customers. For instance, improved lighting inside greatly increased the visibility of the goods for sale. Another development that made goods more visible from outside resulted from the use of plate glass, which made it possible for windows to be much larger than previously. New ways of promoting goods were introduced too. Previously, the focus had been on informing potential customers about the availability of goods. Now, there was an explosion in advertising, trying to persuade people to go shopping. Flanders claims that one of the great effects of the Industrial Revolution was that it created choice. 
all sorts of things that had previously been luxuries, from sugar to cutlery, became conveniences. And before long, they turned into necessities. Life without sugar or cutlery was unimaginable. Rather like mobile phones these days. That is the end of part four. You now have one minute to check your answers to part four. Answers to the answer sheet. All right, everyone, this was little tough. If you find it tough, don't worry. It's your first time. Don't panic if you get low bands. So kindly match the answers and tell me how many did you get right. The first answer is journalist. So every answer, correct answer will have one mark. Wrong answer will have zero mark. So it was audible to all of you guys. Hello. Hi, Jasmeet. Is that it was audible yes, to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Okay. Any question? Okay, so we're going to discuss the answers now. Going to actually uh, mark the answers. Every right answer will have one mark. Wrong answer will have zero mark. So, number count kijiye and let me know. First one is journalist. Second, shopping. Jo spellings hai, wo bhi correct hone chahiye. Third one is stone. Fourth, S T A U N F I R T H. S T A U N F I R T H. Fourth is return. Fifth is twenty three point seven zero. वहाँ पे pounds का निशान already था. If pound symbol or the symbol of the money would be there, you don't need to write it down. So just write the value twenty three point seven zero. Sixth one is online. Seventh delay. Eighth information. Ninth platform or platforms. Both are correct. Tenth parking. Eleventh D. Twelfth, sorry. Just give me a second. So twelfth is C. Thirteenth is G. Fourteenth H, fifteenth A, sixteenth E, seventeenth and eighteenth. Any order, A or D. A could be seventeenth. अगर आपने seventeenth का D भी लगाया तो भी ये सही है. अगर A लगाया then it's correct as well. Eighteenth का A लगाया even this is correct. और डी लगाया स्टिल इट्स करेक्ट दोनों में एक होना चाहिए नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी ए सी इन इधर ऑर्डर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट बी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ए ट्वेंटी थर्ड बी ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ए ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ है ट्वेंटी सिक्स है ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ बी ट्वेंटी एट्थ बी ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ए थर्टी एथ सी Thirty first wealth W E A L T H, thirty second technology, thirty third power, thirty fourth textile or textiles, thirty fifth machines, thirty sixth newspapers. If you write down newspaper, it is incorrect. If you write down newspapers, plural sense, it is right. Thirty seven local, thirty eight light lighting. Thirty ninth, Windows. Fortieth, Advertising. So, guys, mark your score. Let me know if you get low low bands or low scores. Don't panic. It's your first time. Don't worry about it. We will practice during the classes, and your score will be enhanced. Because at this point, you might not have the listening habit. आपको सुनने की आदत नहीं होगी, शायद English. But agar aapko, so we, as we will practice day by day, you will definitely achieve good bands. Any question? 
Uh, Jasmeet, how many did you get? 26, sir. Okay. And Anu, ma'am? So, I was confused in the second paragraph. Um, I somehow lost the sight of uh, the directions and all. It happens. I could, uh, yeah, yeah, I could just score 33. 33, wonderful. Very good. So after uh, even uh, missing some questions, you got 33. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So even, I mean, you might missed uh, five, six, four, five questions. Yeah, yeah, kind of, exactly. So you were almost... I could not actually, I could not actually under, uh, understood, no, I couldn't understand the uh, second uh, paragraph, like what it required. I knew it's asking in for directions. But uh, somehow I have never ever attempted this kind of question ever. <laughs> this one? So, this one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so uh, I, I mean, was like lost. <laughs> you lost in the map somewhere in the glass yeah. house or lake. I, or I could or make out that uh, the directions I could make out, but I was not able to understand like what exactly I need to write down. I like I could, I, I could make out like from south, I need to move towards this side and I could see cafe up above uh, on the... See, you know, at other, front, other, yeah, other, okay. Yeah. If let's suppose they might set a cafe here, so you just need yeah. to write down E over here at front of cafe. Okay, okay, you need to write okay, down cool. E, Bye. right? Here, if they said formal uh -huh. gardens, you need to write down F of if the direction is same, right? So, okay. these kind of I, questions will be yeah. attempted like this, right? Fine. So you Thank actually you. knew the, you're welcome. You actually knew the answers, but you couldn't find how to write down the answer, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. I think you, you scored more than 8.5 or near to nine. Very good. So if you get uh, 33, right. And if you add more six, then you almost achieve nine maps. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. So we will practice these. See what happens in the IELTS exam. Hamari English achhi bhi ho. Still we get confused because we don't Hello? know. Yes, sir. Yes, Not sir. anything on my paper. Achha, aapne kuch nahi likha, sir? Actually, I just to understand what I do. Okay. And uh, just after uh, seeing the, uh, your answer and understand what uh, how to resolve question mm -hmm. papers. No issue, sir. No issue. It's your first time. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. completely fine because English still it takes time to understand the format. First time so it's fine. Once you will join after, after seeing the answer sheet, mm -hmm. how to resolve the question, what I do and how to write on answer. So during our classes we will definitely yes, yes, put yes. you into some kind of situation yes. so you I will learn, right? <laughs> Is all not don't worry, don't worry. You will learn slowly, slowly, sir. It's a new domain. It yeah, takes time to understand. Just take a senior first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's completely fine. So what we recommend all our students to practice listening every day, listen, TED Talks, YouTube listenings, uh, English songs. If not English song is your habit, then listen some, you know, news channels of English channels so that your brain will accept the English language format every day. So you, your skills will enhance, right? All right, coming back to the points. Hello. Uh, yes, uh, sir. Uh, this will be again, you, uh, you sent to our WhatsApp on same PPT, recording PPT? I will send the recording. Yes, for sure, sir. Definitely I'll send the recording. Yesterday, when I shared the recording with all of you guys, today even I will share the recording. Okay, Amanpreet, did, how much did you get? How many? Sorry? 23. Your voice is breaking actually. You just write it down in the chat box. I will see over there. Rakhi Mehta. Rakhi ma'am, how many did you get? Correct. Jitne bhi aaya bata sakte hain. There is it's fine. There is no right, no wrong. Okay, Ravneet, how many did you get corrected? Just 31. Very good. And uh, Rakhi Mem, Simran? Sir, 30. Very good. 
those who touch 30 is very good because it was little intricate okay simran sunita ma'am how many did you get third 30 sir very good great those who don't want to speak just write it down in the chat box all right and okay very good in chat box i can see the list ravneet got 31 sunita 30 rekha rakhi mehta got 30 amanpreet 23 simran 28 just me uh, 26 okay not bad those who also attempt 23 28 26 that's fine amanpreet 23 and then simran 26 that's fine guys in the first try you attempted uh, very good slowly slowly we'll practice in the class and definitely your skills will enhanced will be enhanced and uh, you will get good bands for sure in the real IELTS exam so the purpose behind this why i showed i mean two days demo why i show you the stuff so that you will come to know our uh, way of teaching whether we are teaching in a relevant way or not so our entire material will be based on the real IELTS exam. SC listening here, you have real IELTS me aane wali hai. So we will prepare you accordingly. Aisa nahi hoga ke hum kuch aur karwayenge. We will do the similar practice that you're going to face in the real IELTS exam. So now we will do speaking. Guys, don't leave the class. If anyone would not like to speak up, just stay there and observe. I would appreciate those who will speak up. So thank you so much, all of you, those who participated in the listening, those who attempted, those who didn't attempt, it's fine your first time. Kisi ka koi doubt hai, if anyone having any doubt in listening, I can clear. Otherwise, we will start with the speaking. Sir, can you show uh, a bit, uh, screen of IELTS result card? Uh... Sure, sure, definitely. Just give me one moment. Uh, sorry, IELTS result card you said or the result of listening? Score, is... uh, yes, result of listening. This Score one? Card. Score card. Where, I yes. mean, how much did you get, yes. right? Yes. Okay. yes. Just give me one second. Mm -hmm. That's in the presentation itself. So basically, um, correct answers. This is journal. So basically, guys, listening going to be same for journal and academic over there, to be honest. Um, those who attempted, uh, just give me one second, please. So how much did you get? 26. 26. You almost touch seven bands. Here I see it's you are from bands. academic. You are you are no, general. General. You are from general. Actually, um, one correction I would like to make: uh, the listening would be similar for academic as well as the general one, right? I want to make a correction here. So we will calculate the exact bands during uh, our classes. Even you can calculate on our website as well we do have a calculator over there um rakhi i will answer your question in the chat box just in a moment uh sunita and rakhi says mcq tips definitely we will provide you mcq tips in the classes actually if i will try to describe here the class is going to be uh longer I mean, I don't want to, you know, some people might not be like to have uh, MCQ tips. We will definitely prepare for that, uh, prepare a separate session for that during our classes. Just give me a moment, please. I'm just trying to show you where you can calculate your score. This is our website, winyourenglish.com. Is it visible to all of you guys? Okay. If you see the service section, if you see the service section, you will see band calculator over here, right? So listening, you got 26, right? Yes. So once you fill it, 
you will see 6.5 this is going to be your real bands band score in general reading see there is a difference in reading and uh, general reading and academic reading if you got 26 in general reading you get five bands if you get 26 in academic reading you will get six bands but if you will get 26 in listening that you almost touch 6.5 bands did you get it Sunita asked question in the chat box, sir, if ac academic student fill exam, then they book exam with general or only, no, no, no. Sunita, if you, academic is for student visa, general is for those who want to migrate on PR basis. So if you fill academic exam, definitely you will appear for academic, not for general. All right. Um, did you get the, I think just meet? Yes, did, sir. Did you get the answer what you were asking? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. So if you get 26, you will get 65. Those who attempted like uh, Anu ma'am got 33. Even she missed some questions. She got 7.5 still. And if those questions were, uh, I mean, corrected, and if we add five more point, 38, 8.5 or nine, right? All right, coming back to, so this is the uh, whole purpose to show where you can calculate your band. You can go to our website, winyourenglish.com. In service section, you will see band calculator. This is download section. Once you will click it after the enrollment, you can download a mobile application, Android application over here. The every day, the class is going to be recorded into your application. So once you will download it, we will provide you a license key and uh, you can review your own sections every day. Coming back to the presentation, guys. Now we will do the speak speaking. I will give you little more insights about speaking, how you can attempt more bands, how you can get more bands in IELTS speaking. There are five things that frequently result in candidates getting far lower score they are capable of. Or fail to understand the problems are that they don't speak for full two minutes that once you fail to speak less uh, I mean for full two minutes you will get less bands of task achievement Aapko task achievements ke band nahi milenge if you speak less than two minutes if you are speaking, an examiner will stop you. Let, let's suppose after one minute and 40 seconds, that is completely fine. But you must be capable of speaking le at least two minutes and more. Run out of the things to say. If you miss any bullet point, you will not get adequate bands. Have an unstructured talk. Some students get nervous in real exam. That's why we incorporated speaking every day. Thank you. Aapko real exam mein wo nervousness hue na. So what happens once you become nervous, you talk whatever comes into your mind and the real conversation become unstructured or unstructured conversation won't get good bands. Read their notes rather than speak naturally. Some students just focus their eyeballs on the cue card only and they speak up while reading the cue card. But your speaking should be natural. I mean, it should be natural. Fluency should be there. You must face the examiner as well. Your gesture should be corrected as well. You should not sit cross-legged or cross-armed. You should you know, sit straight, confident. Panic because they think they know nothing about the topic. What happens once, I mean, it has been seen that student, they feel blank when they got the question. Oh, I didn't prepare for that. Or our institute didn't provide the list where, I mean, uh, they provided the list, but this question was not in the list. That was the complaint of the student. They say, we list to mili speaking, ki, par usme wo question nahi tha jo real exam mein hume aaya. But guys, we don't follow any list. We follow, we trust the power of imagination. If you will inculcate, if you will develop your power of imagination, you don't need any list to prepare. You can speak on any topic, anything. 
uh, thank you, Anu, ma'am. I would, uh, uh, I'm obliged for your words in the chat box. And uh, if you have time, stay till the end. Uh, we're going to cover the speaking module as well. So here is the full list of six questions. So you need to use WH family. WH family, what, where, who, why, when, and how. These are the six questions with the help of these questions, you can create content. You can create content. That means um, if some, if the examiner would ask you to describe about your city, where, where is your city located? You know, why, when, how, what, or agar koi topic poochta hai examiner aapko, you can describe things using this. Six question. We discuss these kind of questions in Sorry. our classes. Yes, please. Do you have any question, Jasmeet? Uh, no, sir. Okay, kindly put your mic on mute. Thank you. Ravneet, thank you so much. Uh, you can leave the class if you want. I will send you the recording link as you just requested in the chat box that you need to leave. You can, I will send all of you guys to the, uh, the recording link. All right. I'll speaking cue card today's speaking cue card guys. Don't leave the class. If you don't have any urgency, attempt it. And I will give you valued feedback. Something you have started recently, which is good for your health. As I explained yesterday, you need to quickly cover the topic. You need to introduce the topic. Quickly cover these bullet points and conclude the topic. That's it. After that, you can speak about the topic. No problem. So I will give you two minutes. Something you have started recently, which is good for your health. You can talk about walk, yoga, gardening, any activity, dancing, right? Swimming, gymming, anything you can talk about. What it is, when you have started it, when you have started, it means exactly time. You need to say last month, last week, yesterday, or day before yesterday. Why you have started it doing it? Kya kya benefits hai? And explain how it is good for your health. What it's going to benefit you. Guys, I will give you two minutes. Start from now. The one who will prepare first will speak up. Time starts now. All right, guys. Uh, anu, ma'am, prepared? Uh, yes, sir. I'm almost done. Okay, great. Uh, when you, yes, yes. You may please start once you will be, once you will be ready. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. I yeah. Uh, I have um, just recently I have started doing meditation, which is um, uh, actually very helpful to keep my cool. I started it last month only, and it has really helped a lot because it helped me to keep my balance of mind. I now can evaluate things in a better way. I started doing it purposely because this way I can organize myself in a better way. I know what exactly need to be done in the morning when I meditate. 
it helps me to keep me positive all the way all the time and uh, the best thing out of it is that i when i organize myself my entire day goes good so this is the reason why i began meditating and i would really uh, recommend it to everybody thank you perfectly attempted uh, anu ma'am perfectly done you covered all the bullet points and this is the exact requirement of the uh, uh, ielts exam ielts speaking uh, so that you introduce the topic you cover the bullet points conclude it explain it well that's it wonderfully done thank you so much thank you sir you're welcome so basically one more uh, point i would like to let you know in ielts exam of course you will be facing the trainer uh, the examiner over there so even in classes we will not say uh, we will not wish to attempt it right good evening or good okay. morning so we'll directly start it like okay. something you have recently there are a couple of activities which i have been thinking to start but recently mm-hmm. i have started meditation okay. right so yeah just like this right or recently okay. i started gardening yeah okay. so basically over there we have to face the examiner only and तो उस तरीके से ही हम प्रिपेयर करेंगे ठीक है थैंक यू सो मच इट वाज आई रियली लाइक योर परफॉर्मेंस या ग्रेट ओके हुस नेक्स्ट हेलो यस प्लीज यस यस प्लीज जस्ट मीट firstly i can say uh, we should do something new uh, which helps us to stay fit and uh, keeps our body healthy uh, and i would like to share uh, i started uh, to follow a diet chart uh, which i started uh, uh, from last week only and uh, i started this to keep me uh, fit as i felt to, uh, that i am uh, s- some laziness or uh, unfit as i feel that uh, it is very necessary to follow the diet chart or follow the structure of the food that what we are yes please uh just meet a uh, we, we... we cannot uh, pause the you know we cannot give a pause during the speaking class you were attempting good so uh, how, is it audible to you hello yes yes sir. yes sir it's audible okay okay so basically yeah you attempted these three questions but you failed to conclude otherwise it was fine but in the real ielts exam if we give a pause pause it's going to be really negative uh, it's going to put a negative impact on the entire speaking right but it's fine it's your first time we will definitely practice during the classes and good try not an issue so basically we need to um, introduce the topic like yes. there are there are a couple of activities which i have been thinking humne thode se jo complex sentences bhi use kar karne hain simple sentence won't fetch the you know we need to use uh, passive voice as well as well since last year i have been thinking about some activities to keep uh, myself fit or to reduce my weight but recently last week i started uh, you know dieting and i have i have got the diet special diet chart from the doctor or the person i consulted recently and i have been following this diet chart on regular basis besides i'm doing exercise and yoga uh, additionally i do swimming every day so these are the activities which help me to lose my weight or you know gain some health benefits just like that to humne agar kisi topic ko pakda hai use pura karke chhodna hai till conclusion we should not uh, you need to add some points whether these are uh, fictitious points chahe main swimming karta hu chahe nahi still i can add right did you get my point yes, so we need to add the material chahe wo reality hai chahe nahi examiner or the when tu- uh, I mean the person over there he or she will not going to check the facts we need to make the conversation relevant and interesting very interesting so he or she will give us good bands 
All right, good attempt, Jasmeet. Thank you so much. We'll definitely practice during classes, and uh, your speaking and other skills will enhance for sure. Okay, who's next? Amanpreet, Imran, Sunita, Balveer. Yes, yes. Please. I have just uh, started morning walk uh, from last seven uh, seven days uh, because of my uh, weight has uh, uh, going up, and I have checked my medical report. Uh, need some uh, want to uh, reduce my weight and started uh, regularly uh, morning walk. It it will given me a, a lot of benefits about my health, and I uh, I have daily running and daily jogging, and. Uh, uh, daily uh, taking minimum uh, thousand to fifteen hundred steps and on my walk and uh, regular going on uh, morning uh, morning in the park. So uh, it give me a best and best uh, benefit for my health. Very good, Balvi sir. You covered all the bullet points. Some sentence or grammatical mistakes were there, but we will eradicate. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I go on walk on regular basis, or I go gym daily. Right, so kuch tenses may garbar hai, but that's fine. We will definitely refine it with the passage of time. Good, good attempt. Okay, Sunita, kindly start. Yes, sir. I do various uh, various type uh, type of things to stay healthy, such as uh, yoga as well as morning walk, because uh, because it is beneficial for my health. Every day I get up early in the morning and go for walk with my friends, uh, and uh, uh, she st uh, she studying with me, and. Uh, uh, it, and uh, that time, uh, and uh, it gives me a uh, various type of uh, various type of uh, things, such as uh, uh, sometimes I feel tired. Then whenever uh, whenever I go for walk, then it helps to reduce my uh, reduce my stress because I am a student. Sometime uh, uh, sometime I feel burden about my study. Uh, so whenever uh, whenever I prefer to do running, that time uh, it uh, it aids to reduce my stress level, and uh, it is good exercise uh, uh, for all age groups. And more uh, morning walk also improves the blood uh, blood circulations, and uh, it gives me a lot of uh, amenities for my health. All right. Good, good try, Sunita, and uh, you covered all the bullet points. But up, up, bolte hain to you stretch the words. But I noticed like yoga, yoga nahi. You, it's a yoga, right? Walk. So you practice karni hai. Uh, yes. It's fine. But humne examiner ke aage when we talk like this, and it will impact. Uh, negatively, our band score will be fluency. Ke wo kar Ab words ko rahe because it happens. When we don't talk nahi karte English, mein, it happens. I would suggest to you strongly read newspaper every day, English newspaper, whether uh, paper newspaper or in your mobile se e newspaper. Read newspaper paper at least for one hour every day at front of mirror so your vocal code will be corrected aapka bolne ka jo pronunciation hai na uh, wo theek ho jayegi yes sir thank right. you sir. there is a problem in the pronunciation and uh, we, we need to work on on that and we will definitely work on that um, you have good ideas you explain the ideas but the uh, pronunciation is not correct somehow right we will yes. definitely work on that yes, good sir, attempt you're welcome. All right. Who's next? Simran? Simran, would you like to attempt? Sure, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. I don't think to start a new thing, we really need a reason when it is good for our health. I do go for a morning walk. Uh, morning walk is very useful exercise. 
I started morning exercise just before two weeks. I think it uh, it boosts our energy and moreover it improves our mental health, reduces risk of our health. I walk briskly along the road, and I think that's all. All right, so wonderful attempt, I would say, but uh, lack of content was there, Simran. आपने अटेम्प्ट पूरा नहीं किया इट वाज लेस देन टू मिनट्स यू स्टार्टेड वेरी गुड यू इनिशिएटेड वेल यू कवर दीज बुलेट पॉइंट्स बट एंड एक्सप्लेन हाउ इट इज गुड फॉर योर हेल्थ सम ग्रामेटिकल मिस्टेक्स फॉर देयर बट दैट्स फाइन वी विल डेफिनेटली रेडिकेट दिस मिस्टेक्स सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू जनरेट द कंटेंट सो वी विल हैव सफिशियंट आइडियाज to cover 2 minutes minimum so 2 minute ki hamari conversation humne uh, in our classes we practice 3 and 1/2 minute 3 and 1/2 minute kaise 1 and 1/2 minute mein we cover all the stuff introduction bullet points conclusion so that if examiner will stop you even after a minute and 1/2 still you will get full bands but we practice to speak minimum 3 and 1/2 minutes so that once you will cover all the stuff you still be able to talk further right any question all right guys this is the end of the uh, session if any one of you having any query question i'm here to answer this is the second day and uh, last day of this two day demo session it was really nice to have you in the class and sessions really enlightening for me as well and thanks you spare your precious time uh, hope to see you in the classes as well those who wish to join us just text me on the mobile we will get you get back to you tomorrow for further proceeding any of our representative would come back to you if you have any question i can answer All right. Uh, thank you so much, Aman Preet, Anu Ma'am, Balveer Singh, Balveer Menka Sir, Jasmeet, Simran, Sunita. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was nice to have you in the class. Good evening. Good night, all of you. Take care.